guess who this is? Yeah, the dog person, disabled, whatever the f you want to call me. <clears throat> this is going to be a long video considering the fact I am fine. This video is shocking because we thought this woman was missing. Her name is Anna Teshu. Anna became famous when she was spotted at a Staten Island mall being walked around on a leash by a man. I checked out her Facebook page and there are tons of pictures similar to these where she's wearing a collar with spikes. You see her wearing a muzzle. She was reported to have been missing since Christmas Eve. So I actually headed to Staten Island to look for her. I'm told she was always walking around like this on a leash oh, with her boyfriend. No, no, no. Did you think that was weird? No? To a certain extent. I mean, she could be gothic. I don't know. I went to the last address where she was believed to have lived on David Place, and when I rang the doorbell, a woman came out and said that they were not allowed to comment. Can you just give me any information? Because no, I know I'm she's not missing. Okay. To give you information. Is there if somebody? I, if you can give me a card, yeah. I can pass it off to the program manager, and she can talk to you. Is the program manager here or no, anybody she here? No, there's nobody here right now. And I asked, what's the name of, of your group or your organization? And she said, it's the New York Foundling. They're a New York-based charity that helps underserved children, adults, and families with development disabilities. I reached out to them, asked for a comment, and my voicemail was never mm -hmm. returned. Now I want to go back to this video that Anna has released to the world. I'm fine, living the life. I'm okay. I don't really need, you know, people to be fighting or, you know, I'm all right. She says that she's fine. She says that she's moving to another state with her husband. We're not sure if, if that actually is her legal husband. And we just want to know more about her psychological state, how she's doing. So we're now joined by Dr. Jeffrey Gardier, who's a psychologist. Dr. Gardier, what's your reaction to this video and Anna's story? Well, uh, certainly this is someone who appears to be living uh, a certain lifestyle. Uh, some call it the uh, BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominant, submissive, sado, masochism, which is a community that people can be part of. But I also do understand, separate from that, that there have been some issues in the past, from what I've read, as far as her actual uh, psychological competence, uh, whether there may be uh, some intellectual uh, issues uh, she may have been dealing with in the past. Doc, how do you deal with something like this? I mean, I look at this and people see the videos and it seems to me that the world just is mocking someone that has a clear impairment. Something is wrong. She's living in a group home. One, is it mocking the mentally ill? Uh, and two, uh, the person who's walking her around on a leash, how could that even be legal if she is not competent? That is a very interesting legal question. If she is not psychologically competent, are these actions uh, that she is aware that she's doing, uh, and is she doing it in a way whether uh, she's informed and can make an informed decision? Uh, does she have a mind or a capacity which is that that is uh, psychologically below her physical age? And so, yes, uh, that is certainly, I think, a concern. So the BDSM lifestyle has become so normalized, especially with movies like Fifty Shades of Grey. This lifestyle is out there, and I don't know what her mental state is, but I think we need to be accepting of people who want different things. But I've seen Fifty Shades so of Grey. She was not on a dog, being walked on a dog she leash. She actually <laughs> was tied up. She question. was tied up, not on a when dog leash, around a mall. When Semantics. A, when you identify as a puppy, which bathroom do you use at the mall? Uh, you actually go outside on the lawn in front of me. Oh. Thanks, Doc.